गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन इन टूडे टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस यू रिगार्डिंग नेशनल प्रोग्राम फॉर कंट्रोल ऑफ ब्लाइंडनेस कमिंग टू दिस प्रोग्राम इट वॉज लॉन्च और इट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन द ईयर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सिक्स एज ए हंड्रेड परसेंट सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड प्रोग्राम एंड द नेशनल प्रोफाइल एक्सिस प्रोग्राम अगेंस्ट दिस ब्लाइंडनेस due to vitamin a deficiency it was launched in the year 1970 and later on this national program for control of blindness has been launched and it was launched in the year 1976 this uh, this national program against blindness due to vitamin a it was launched in the year 1970 and it was incorporated by this npcb so on 2001 to 2002 they have conducted a survey on blindness so that survey has shown about 1.19 prevalence of blindness in the general population coming to the activities which were carried out by this national program for control of blindness were first one is cataract surgeries so they have they have created a benchmark that for every 1 lakh population at least 400 cataract surgeries must be attained so the main motto is to clear the backlog of cataract blindness that means they want to clear the number of blindness cases which were occurring due to the cataract cataract so they have created a strategy they have mainly created a stra strategy that for every 1 lakh population at least 400 operations must be performed 400 cataract surgery operations should be performed and the other one is construction of eye wards operation theaters and dark room was undertaken in seven states covered under the world bank assisted cataract blindness control program so they, their main motto is to control the number of blindness which is occurring due to the disease condition which is known as cataract so you know they, their main motto is to perform at least 400 surgeries for 1 lakh population and the other other thing they want to do is they want to construct the i wards and they want to construct new operation theaters and they want to construct new dark rooms and it was undertaken in seventh state with the assistance of world bank by the program cataract blindness control program and the next one is school eye screening program the next one is school eye screening program so 6 to 7 percent of the children who were aged from 10 to 14 years, these people are having a great problem of their eyesight, and it is indirectly and directly, sometimes directly affecting their learning at school. So the children, the children who are at the age of 10 to 14, they must be screened for this blindness so that their disability can be identified early, and they must and, and they can be uh, they can be treated as early as possible. so training faculty members of medical colleges have been trained as trainers and district eye surgeons and trained of ecce and iol surgery the next one is drugs and commodities so drugs medicines and other consumables as well as spectacles spectacles means nothing but spits so are produced locally by the district blindness control society db cs nothing but district blindness control society out of the grants given to them so they are constructing the they are producing the drugs they are producing the medicines and consumables and the spits all these are produced by this dbcs by their grants which were given to them to run their institution and consumable consumable items like sutures extra ocular lenses are produced centrally and being distributed to the states and dbcs so uh, along with the dcbs the consumable products like sutures and extra ocular lenses these are also these are produced by the center through uh, uh, these are produced by the center are also being distributed along with this dbcs so com coming to this the first one is the targets of 10th five year plan to increase cataract surgery to 450 operations per 1 lakh population so previously what is the target there at least per 1 lakh population they want to perform 400 cataract surgeries so in the 10th five year plan we have studied in the earlier classes in the 10th five year plan if you know they have they have a strategy to control the blindness so there they have decided to increase the number of surgeries per 1 lakh population that is from 400 to 450 operations per 1 lakh population and the next one is intraocular lens implantation in more than 80% cataract cataract cases by 
they want to they want to implant the intraocular lens in more than 80% of the cataract cases and the next one is development of 50 pediatric ophthalmology units they want to develop more than 50 units of pediatric ophthalmology units and the next one is and the next one is facilitation and early diagnosis and treatment of glucose and diabetic retinopathy so they want to identify the they want to identify the diabetic retinopathy juvenile diabetes so whenever you are identifying the diabetes in early in a child then you are able to prevent the other then you are able to prevent the other complications which are occurring because of that particular disease and the next one is setting up 20000 vision centers in rural areas they want to increase the vision centers in rural areas that is like 20000 and the next one is developing human resources and institutional capacity for eye care by providing training to eye surgeons and other personnel at various level so they want to increase the human resources what they want to increase they want to increase the human resources so whenever the human resources are more in number then we whenever the human resources are more in number then we can automatically increase the capacity so whenever there are num more number of eye surgeons more number of surgeries can be performed so that the activity can be achieved so again i want to just uh, briefly explain you what are the drugs and commodities so mainly the drugs and medicines which are consumed by the uh, consumed by these patients these are mainly produced by dbcs district blindness control society along with along with this dbc consumable items like sutures and extraocular lens these are these were also produced by the center so along with dbcs the center is also producing the uh, consumable items and the, uh, the other one is in the 10th five year plan they want to increase uh, they want to increase this number of surgeries previously it was like 400 surgeries only previously it was like 400 surgeries but now they have increased it into 450 operations per 1 lakh population and intraocular lens implantation intraocular lens implantation at least 80 percent of the cataract cases must be treated with this intraocular implement implantation by 2007 and development of 50 pediatric units and the next one is early diagnosis and so that the treatment of glucose and diabetic retinopathy can be treated and setting up 20,000 vision centers and the other one is developing human resources other one is developing human resources and institutional capacity what is this institutional capacity the number of patients that it can handle how they can increase the capacity they can increase the capacity based on the number of health personnel available if adequate number of health personnel are available then adequate number of patients can be treated and the other thing that they have included in the program is the right to sight. The other thing they have included is the right to sight. So what is this right to sight? The global initiative, the global initiative to reduce, the global initiative to reduce and avoidable blindness by 2020. They want to decrease the number of cases by the year 2022. So what are these diseases uh, which are responsible for this uh, blindness means cataract is one of the cause and refractive errors is one of the cause and the child blindness and corneal blindness due to glaucoma and diabetic retinopathy so early diagnosis and early treatment early diagnosis and early treatment they want they have taken a global initiative to reduce this blindness by the year 2000 the other one is human resource development as well as in infrastructure and technology development at various levels of health system what they want to increase they want to increase the infrastructure they want to increase the technology where the infrastructure is increased where the human facility is increased there the number of the number of when where when there is adequate number of health personnel available there the quality of the care is always at a higher state and quality care can be given to the patients at the same time they proposed the they proposed that at least from 20 to 20 to 2000 training centers must be established and vision centers must be like 20000 so this is regarding the national control of national control of blindness in next in next class we will discuss regarding the iodine deficiency disorder control program thank you